the most wonderful booths at the show. This girl, let me show you, her name is Tammy. She is a lamp work artist, so she made all of the lamp work booths at this booth. And here's our Orlando group. There's Beth and Lillian and Sandra, and there's Gail in the green. And I think that's all of us. Uh, we discovered this booth. I think it's going to be our last stop. She has golem beads. She has um, these beautiful Anna Braun, which could be a good replacement for Tierra Cast. And she has a friend in Fort Charlotte here in Florida that does all of the um, porcelain and ceramic beads. And she, her lamp work is just stunning. All of us got some treasures at this moment. Our friend Lillian and Sandra shopping the Orlando Beach Show. This vendor has a booth for findings only, and everything here has a special finish coating so that it is anti tarnish. And he has everything from bead caps to spacers to connectors. It's a really exciting booth. The prices are not terrible. He has chain. Everything has that coating. Really amazing. Every kind of bead cap, every kind of spacer you could imagine. So exciting. Ciao, jewelry makers. This is Joey Balistrieri. For those of you who don't know me yet, I am so excited. I just got back literally a few minutes ago from the Orlando Beach Show here in Central Florida. It's actually in Kissimmee. And I met up with a group of other Florida jewelry makers that Wendy Whitman had sort of connected everyone. She had about a month ago, maybe a little bit longer, she had put out a group email inviting everyone to, from the Central Florida area to meet at this show. And everyone really missed her today. I was the only person who knew her in person. The other ladies were supposed to meet her for the first time today. So it was a little bit emotional at first, but we all agreed that she would have loved what we were doing and that we still met, we still made the connection. And we really, we, I don't have the words to say how much I enjoyed meeting these ladies. Uh, we had Lillian, Sandra, Beth, Gail, and myself. And it was as if we had already known each other for a really long time. And it, it was just, a, it was a beautiful day. This show was small, but in my opinion, it was amazing. We just had a great time. We found some good deals, some things I'd never seen before, some new things. So I'm really excited to show you. I apologize for the noise of the packaging, but I literally just returned and I'm just opening it now for the camera. So the first place that I went uh, and I have to say before I start on that, I'm probably going to have to do this in two videos because I wanted to talk a little bit about the booths and 
put the information for these vendors on the screen and most of them have websites and we enjoy talking to everyone so I just have a lot to share um, so anyway this will be part one and so the first place that I went was I, I walked in the door and saw an African bead seller but he also had some glass and crystal some wood some bone just a little bit of everything uh, this is his uh, thing that you can scan so you can go right to his website and he was so nice he even took a picture of the first few of us that had arrived at the show he took a picture for us which I'll put that up on on the screen so you can see it was me Gail and Beth in that first photo and so I just picked up a few things from him and so, sorry about the noise so I don't do a lot of work with African glass uh, it recycled glass but I do love it so he had these um, little rings and I just love the way they're strung on the raffia I sometimes have a difficult time cutting them because I think it's so pretty just as it is but these make wonderful spacers and even though I don't do a lot with African glass I do live in Florida and so we use sea glass and man-made sea glass and these pair beautifully with those types of beads. So I picked up two strands. I really wanted smaller beads, so this was the other strand of recycled glass in these sort of ocean colors. And I have all, I have some man-made sea glass, and again, this makes beautiful beach jewelry, summer jewelry, things with ocean themes. So uh, I think these were eight dollars a strand and ten dollars a strand so i thought that was a pretty good price compared to the recycled glass that i've ordered online from etsy sellers and things so i got those and then he had these amazing long strands of crystals that were i think two dollars a piece maybe three dollars but i mean it's an incredibly long strand of crystals for that price so I am a pink girl, so this is, I just chose one in pink just to have in my supplies. And again, I think it was two or three dollars. So I just loved those. And then um, the next booth that I went to was a gentleman named Calvin, and he was so nice, really helpful. He's not pushy, just really lovely. This is his business card. It's Bead Plus International. And he had a, a wonderful deal on smaller strands of beads, really long strands, which I'll show you. He had gemstones, he had some lamp work, some findings, and I got a little bit of everything from him. So let's see, let me start with the little findings. I just picked up some stainless steel lobster claw clasps because again, live in Florida, always fighting the tarnish on my pieces. And then I just found these crystal rondelle spacers and I just love the copper finish. I just think they are lovely. Open those. I just love the finish. I love the size. It can be used in so many different ways. So, you know what? Let me try to get keep myself organized a little bit as I show you what I got. And then I picked up these, I think these were $2 a bag, if I'm not mistaken, maybe $2.50. Uh, these are black, and I just didn't have any of these in my stash either, so I just picked up a little package of the black crystal Rondell spacers. Oh, I definitely don't want to mix them because I have a lot to share with you and I don't want to spend time reorganizing everything. So it was a nice little um, supply, nice little supply of black crystal rondelle spacers. For two or three dollars. I love those. And then, this was a nice deal at his booth. So these were, there was crystal, there were some uh, glass and gemstone, and they were $2 a strand. Let me make a little bit of space. 
$2 a strand. And then if you bought 10 strands, he gave you two for free. So I did the 10 strands. So one, two, three, four. These are such nice long strands too. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then here was my two free strands, eleven and twelve. Yeah, even some semi-precious gemstone chip beads were included in that deal. So, and these strands, uh, I'm not going to back the camera out because I do have a lot to share, but these are, that is a lot of beads for the money. So yeah, this is, I was really happy with that. And then I am just really wishing fall to come on. So I just picked up because of the color of these beautiful little gemstone coins. I just love the color. I'm thinking about fall jewelry and feeling like wearing fall colors. So that was another little find. I think these were $3 for this strand. Really incredible price. And then one of the things on my shopping list today was lamp work beads and in particular lamp work cube beads. So I got this strand for $6, this long strand of lamp work beads with the lamp work on the inside of the cube. And I think this one was $6. This was the less ex least expensive of the lamp work strands, but incredible how many beads, I didn't count them, but incredible how many lamp work beads I got for $6. So I really was excited. I wanted the cubes. That's one of my favorite bead shapes. And then my favorite strand is this, these lamp work cubes where the lamp work <clears throat> excuse me, where the lamp work is on the outside of the bead, the little dots and things. I just did a project and used literally the last lamp work cube that I had. And so it was on my shopping list and I think I got the last one that he had. And I think this one was $8, maybe $10. Sorry, I it's somewhere in there. So for me, definitely worth it. It's not unusual to pay a dollar or even $2 per bead. For this type so I thought that was a wonderful price and it was actually on my wish list today and then I got another strand of lamp work beads from him and I love the color love the shape and don't have anything like this in my own stash I'm sorry for the packaging noise guys I just came from the show so I was just really excited I love this barrel shape and I love the blue and pink and white in these and again I think these were six dollars and look at how many beads nice long strand so um, yeah one of that was one of my favorite finds and then he had at the end of his booth you probably you might see it in the video uh, where is it he had Oh, I did that, I did that, the little findings. Yep, that was at the end of his booth. So then, um, let's see, I think I will save, I have one, two, three more, three more booths left and I think I'll save them for part two of the video. So tune in for that. Uh, it was just a really nice show, as I said, not a really big show but really quality and really great vendors there. So stay tuned for part two. Ciao, jewelry makers. Ciao, everyone. It's Joey Balistrieri. For those of you who haven't met me yet, I am back for part two of my treasures that I found at the Orlando Beach Show and that I did with a group of ladies that Wendy had gathered together. So if you haven't seen part one, go back and look at that. Uh, this was... Uh, the last, let's see, one, two, three, four booths that we visited. So you'll see in the video, a little clip, video clip of Lillian and Sandra shopping at this booth and I was videotaping them and I looked down and saw these beautiful Pave magnetic clasps in two sizes, 
in square and I had not seen these in square. I have them in round and teardrop and like a, a another kind of free form shape, but they were $2 a piece. And so I just picked up a few of these Pave crystal clasps at that booth. And then I actually took a video at the, toward the end of the booth. And then there was a, booth right in the middle of the show and they had a large basket of cloisonne beads, bead caps, tube beads, uh, some unusual like animal shapes and I was not the only one. They were a dollar a piece. I was not the only one that was thrilled to go through that basket. There were two and three ladies around the edge of the basket pretty much the whole show. So I'll show you what I got. I was going through trying to find pairs and groupings of things to create pieces with later. So I love the cloisonne bead caps. So I found a couple of sets in this smaller size in the pinks and greens and whites and I just love that color. So I did get two sets of those. And then they had that same bead cap in a turquoise blue with some pink and green and red. And they had a larger size in that too, so I was able to find two of those that match. And I honestly, I don't think I've ever had a cloisonne bead cap and they were a dollar a piece, so that was really fun. And then they had these little noodle bar beads in cloisonne with the gold on the edges. So I am not sure what I will make with this, but I, it will be dainty and I do love to do dainty jewelry and wear dainty jewelry, it's smaller scale. So I got four of those little tube beads in the cloisonne and then they had it in like a white and pink with some little red accents. I love the gold around the edge and it's just a beautiful shape and in a cloisonne, really classic, you know, been around forever type of bead. So that was that booth with the cloisonne and then they also had a whole section of other findings and accent beads that were a dollar a piece and they had some uh, tassels that were ready made and these are very easy to make and I do make them but I love tassels and when I'm doing a project a Y necklace or stringing it's nice to have some on hand that I don't have to stop my other work to create the tassel. So for a dollar, why would I not buy those and add them to my stash? So I did get, I got one larger gold one and then um, I got two in this copper finish. They do not want to come out of this little bag. I want to show you. Yeah, again, it's not a difficult little component to create on your own, but for a dollar, you know, the chain and the time involved, the wire, the bead cap. So, and I got two of those. I just thought that was a great find for a dollar. Set those out of the way. So that was what all I did at that booth. And then there was a really interesting booth there. I'm really excited to share this with you. So this gentleman's booth was all, um, pretty much all metal findings. That was the gist of his. He, I think there were some gemstone pendants on one section, but pretty much all metal findings. But what was unique about his booth is that there was a special coating. Everything that he sold had the special coating that was tarnish resistant. And he was explaining to everyone that it's quite durable and, you know, does a good job. So, it, it, you know, all of us that are working with base metal and plated metal, we fight the tarnish. We have to figure out how to coat things or we end up remaking things when the tarnish sets in. So I was really excited to buy some of his pieces and I cannot wait to design with them and wear them and see how they do. So let me show you what I got from him. These little uh, gold bars. Oh, you know, he had, uh, he had every metal. He had silver, he had copper, copper finishes gold, and as like the antique bronze or brass. But I am a gold girl. That's my favorite. So pretty much everything that I purchased from him is in this gold finish. So I just love these little bars. I just think they will make really chic, maybe even minimalistic jewelry, but it's just something I don't have in my stash. And I 
just felt like they would be fun to design with. And again, I really wanted to just try some pieces to see how well this finish does. So all of the bags on his on the table were six dollars. So 20 pieces for six dollars with the coating. So that was one of the things I got. And then these were also six dollars. This is a beautiful little like barrel or tube spacer and I just thought this finish was gorgeous. It's like a brushed texture on the finish and it's a pretty nice long strand for six dollars and again if this doesn't tarnish very quickly if there's a good durability as he said it's really worth it and then everybody needs these little spacers we all use them so this is just the classic bumpy spacer i love the size and i think it's a really pretty gold not so so yellow really pretty color gold and again with that finish uh, you know i looked at this and i thought how pretty this type of spacer is between a lamp work bead or a check glass bead or um, you know a, any really any of our pretty beads but then when you look at your piece a year later and those spacers have tarnished and they're dark you have to cut the piece apart and rescue your glass beads toss the metal beads so I'm really excited to work with these wear a piece see how these spacers hold up and then I can never have too many hearts in my supply. So I got a little bag of these hearts and these were $6 as well for the whole bag of little hearts. And I really like the little finish on these. It's sort of brushed and they're, they have a little top drilled hole. So that could be you could put wire through there. You can even use it as a spacer. Uh, little jump ring. So I got, let's see if it says, uh, 35 pieces for $6. <laughs> my little cat is on my, one of my bags. If you hear the noise, it's my little cat. <laughs> she loves the noise of the plastic bag. <laughs> Bella. Bella. <laughs> Okay, and then really I think my favorite thing that I got from his booth was the chain. So he had a special deal on chain. If you purchased a certain amount, it was $250 a foot. So I got five feet of this chain. And what I love about this is it is not base metal. It is a brass as the base, and then this has a copper plating on it. And it just, I love the texture. It, when you look closely, it almost looks like it's embossed instead of texturized. It is just Bella, Bella cat. You are making a lot of noise. Thank you. Sorry for the interruption. So yeah, I really love this. I love that it's not base metal. I love that the base is actually brass and everything in his booth had that anti-tarnish coating so this also has the coating so i cannot wait to make a piece for myself out of this and wear it and see how durable it actually is so yeah 250 a foot and i did five feet so 1250 for five feet of chain i think it's a great price i was happy with it and then i got one more thing from him it is that same chain but in a an antique gold finish and it also has the lovely embossing on the links. And he said, you know, this is not base metal. The, me the base is brass. And with the coating, he said it should really stay looking like this. So I can definitely see myself ordering from his website and replenishing this supply. Uh, let me show you his information one more time in case any of you are interested in trying this, these metal findings out. Then, our very last booth that we went to, I, I say they're all my favorite, but this was a lamp work artist and she was absolutely lovely. She was so sweet. Her husband was there with her. The name of her company is Tea Beads. Her name is Tammy. So this is the rest of the 2023 bead show schedule if any of you are interested. And her website was teabeads.com. So she's the lamp work artist, and um, I got a really special bead from her. It, her. I just loved her work. All of her pieces were just gorgeous. 
Um, this one is a lamp work heart that she created herself and it has the little paw in the corner and it is two-sided. The hole is drilled from top to bottom and I just thought it was beautiful. So this, it, it's just a little piece of artwork. It was $15 for this particular bead. All of us in the group, I think every one of us purchased something from her. You just couldn't not bring something home of her work. And then her booth was just lovely because she had not only the lamp work beads that that she had made each piece, but her friend in Port Charlotte, which is southern, more south Florida, was the ceramic and porcelain bead artist. And she also had golem beads and she had some metal findings. She had leather in her booth. Uh, just It was just a lovely booth. Now she has a Facebook group where she does lamp work tutorials. So those of you that are on Facebook and are interested in that, you can look her up on Facebook. So then I got a golem bead and I was, I, we all were at this booth and we talked to her a lot, like our entire group. And you'll see in the video that all of us that met today were at her booth. But Beth was helping me because I wanted to buy beads to make a bracelet for myself. So I chose this golem bead. And then I was looking for some matching beads to put on either side of it. And uh, Beth said to look at the ceramic beads. And so together, this is what she helped me decide on. Um, Tammy's friend, I cannot remember her name. I'm sorry, I don't remember the name of her friend because she wasn't there, but the ceramic, all the ceramic beads were handmade. I think these were $4 for two handmade ceramic beads and they just matched this this golem bead so well. So my, um, my design is go going to be one of these on either side of the golem bead. I'm not sure what else I'll do, but I'll probably make a video about that and show you what I create with that. So that was my little treasures from the tea beads booth. And then we talked to her for a long time and as we were getting ready to leave, we were talking about the leather and the barrel knots. And so she said to us, have you girls seen the tool that makes barrel knots? And none of us had seen this tool. So she demonstrated it. And um, I, everybody wanted one. We all bought one. This is what it looks like. And she was even kind enough to put a little barrel knot sample on the tool of how it works. Because most of us that make them will do it with a straw or a tube bead or something. But this was really easy. She did a little demonstration on it. So the tool was $4. All of us got one. So I had to get a credit card out because I had used all of my cash. And my new friend, Beth, treated me to the tool. She said, oh, I'll pay for yours. So thank you so much, Beth. That was so sweet and wonderful. Um, so anyway, I think that was my, I think that was my last, um, you know, and in part one, I, in, oh guys, I forgot a whole booth. I forgot a whole booth. That is not my last, my last booth. This was another, another, um, as I said, everything is still in the packages, so I almost forgot another lamp work seller. So T Beads was the last booth that we went to, but it is not the last one that I have to show you. This was a really nice man named Jim. He had a lot of he had a lot of different things, but I was really focused on the lamp work there. And um, Gail and Beth, everybody was back there, but um, this booth, Gail and I were kind of helping each other select. So I got a few more strands of lamp work beads and his price was $3 a strand. And I think if you took 10 strands, it was $25, but I just chose three strands. I just love the finish, just the, look at each one is a little bit different. Each one is like a work of art. So I got that one. I got this beautiful pink one. And on these strands, no two strands were alike. Each strand had a few different shapes. So you, we were there a long time. You had to really look at all the strands to, 
see which one you loved all the beads on. Look how beautiful that bead is. I just love lamp work. It is, I have a love affair with lamp work for sure. And I got a blue one, this beautiful blue one. Just love the squares, the flower, the twist bead, even a little star. I do not have a lamp work star. And you know, you can never have enough hearts. Two little lamp work hearts on this strand. And then I was thinking of my son because he loves blue and he loves animals. So I got this little lamp work koala. I think it was $1.25. Isn't he adorable? I will do something for my son with that little glass koala. And then um, it was so kind of Gail. She snuck into the booth and I was, this was the last lamp work strand in this teal color. She snuck in and paid for this and then handed it to me as we were ready to go and said it was just a little thank you for getting everyone together today. So thank you so much, Gail. I, I just, I'll make something out of this and remember you and remember the day. And I just thank you so much. You girls are just absolutely lovely. So I got my little gift and my pieces that I purchased. And again, that was Jim from Dragonfly Wings. It was just a wonderful show. I hope the video the video is good and coherent. Um, I'm really excited. I had a really great time and I just couldn't wait to share everything with you, unpackage everything and share everything with you. So um, I will see you guys in the next video. I think the next one I do, we're going to be making something. So just want to say ciao and thank you all so much for being with me today. Ciao. Mm -hmm.